All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 14th of June, and uh, we've got July. Oof, where am I at? Hey, we've got a t four tastings going on this week. I'm drink for a living, so, you know, a lot of alcohol in the upstairs. And uh, we got a dinner tonight with Hawk and Horse Vineyards at uh, Capitol Grill in Fort Lauderdale. Dr. Peterson will be there. That's Heidi Peterson Barrett's father, the original winemaker for Screaming Eagle. And uh, this is a great property up in uh, Mendocino. And uh, a lot of people have gone up there from Napa because the land is much cheaper and high potential to make serious uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Bordeaux blends up there. And Wednesday night, we got Austria and Germany at uh, Cafe Max. That was a horrible accent. I apologize to the German people, Austrians, for that. And we got a small crowd for that. Usually that tasting, we get a half dozen people. And, uh, and then we've got uh, Thursday night here at the store, Bouchard Parafields, Burgundy, uh, one of my favorite topics. And speaking of Burgundy, we have got an incredible offer for you, our Burgundy lovers, here going all the way back to 1966. Some of the top names in Burgundy, Ponso, Louis Jadot, Premier Cru, Grand Cru, and Village Wines from incredible vintages, 85s, 83s, 76s, 78s, and just look at these wines. They are in impeccable condition. The color on these wines, beautiful, and uh, you know, one of the things with old burgundies, you've got to prepare them properly. They're going to have a little sediment in them. So uh, I always tell people you got to stand them up or don't even pull them out of the cellar. Don't stand them up if they're laying down because the sediment is all along the side of the bottle. A lot of people feel like you shouldn't decanter burgundy. Well, let me tell you. Any wine with sediment in it needs to be decanted, in my opinion, because you've got to clean it up. You want to drink a clear wine. Some Burgundy aficionados would disagree with me on this, but I just had lunch at La Tour d'Argent, and uh, we had a, a 1990 Burgundy from J.J. Conferon, Chambeau Moussigny, Premier Cru, and um, the wine, even though they pulled it out of the cellar and put it in a cradle, uh, they poured it right over the sediment, and by the time we got to the third glass, the wine was all shaken up. Some people feel like oh, there's sediment all in, in our glasses, and uh, some people feel like, <clears throat> you know, the bouquet is lost, little subtle nuances, but um, I don't know. I've never found that to be the case. And Like I said, I like to drink clear wine. And when you're drinking old wines like this, to me, you always get a better experience when they're prepared properly. So if you love old burgundies, like I said, you want to make sure you clean these wines up before you drink them because they will be much more enjoyable. And um, like I said, some great names, great Provence, and the prices on this offer, you will not be able to find these wines cheaper anywhere in the world. We've got incredible pricing, and uh, we just got a few bottles of each wine, but we got a big selection here. So if you love old Burgundies, you want to take a serious look at this list and uh, respond right away. Some of these wines only have one bottle. So check it out. All the old vintage Burgundies are serious stash for you burgundy lovers i'm your host andrew lampassoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first